Right. So, Julie, take us round. Take us round your gallery. <laughs> take her round. Well, here we are. This is cloud <laughs> time. Um, so the, these are some of yours, aren't they? Yeah. Well, they're actually they're prints from the uh, originals. The originals uh, are all hanging up in um, the restaurant at the Holiday Inn at, at the Cryo, oh. which is really pleased about. But because they were all up there, people weren't getting to see what I'd done. So yeah, these stuff. I'm going to have a sneaky peek at Caroline's. I oh, know, isn't that beautiful? Uh, wedding dress, yeah. which is gorgeous. Some of her belties. I've got quite a lot of Caroline's things in actually. She's, uh, yeah, the, all the belties, and uh, you just walk past some of the ball glass. Look, yeah, globes, yeah, She's just gorgeous. Got uh, Grace's glass, Fuse glass, and KGI glass. Okay. Did you like these? These came in today and I just love them. Big shout out to Grace, they look gorgeous. <laughs> Aren't they just wonderful? Absolutely stunning. Yeah, just beautiful. Um, I don't know who else you would. You've got Happy Snail Crafts, yeah. that's Fran, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hi, yeah, Fran. Some of her. And these are the, the buttons that have been made from um, Galloway Wood, they're just beautiful. Oh, they're gorgeous. Yeah. Let's have a quick look at that. Wow. Wood from the Galloway Forest. Just, just gorgeous, and they're really comfortable and soft as well. Um, I try and um, pick out people, people's work that I really, I admire. Things that I would like to to have. You know, mm -hmm. if somebody came into and I thought, what will we buy Julie today? They could buy me anything from in here because <laughs> <laughs> I like all the things. <laughs> I like all the things that are in here, and I think that's how I, I kind of judge it. If I like it, then I think other people are going to like it too. Yeah, you know, that's so. It, it's it's good do quality. You, do you find then that if if you were to have too far a ranging of a taste, then you would be um, trying and trying to be all things to everybody? You probably wouldn't quite get the right people coming in the door. So if you have uh, maybe. a more specific target market, i.e., people that like the things that you do, but my tastes are quite eclectic. So I think I'm quite safe in sort of saying, well, I like this and like that, because people will go, well, how can you like that and like that as well? And that's just me. I yeah. just, you know, I, I can go... But you can see that in some of your work. Some of your work is, and we'll see more up the other end, but we've got, like, this one. I love this. Really atmospheric, beautiful painting. And then further down, you've got almost a different style. Just mm -hmm. So you can yeah. see it in your work, you're quite eclectic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like lots of different things, and um, I like to. I just like to have a go at different things, you know, like and, and play. I think it's all about enjoying what you do. Yeah. And what was it you said to me earlier? You don't like being pigeon pigeonholed. Does, uh, yeah, you like to try different yeah. things. I, I, I remember talking to somebody um, who'd come from Gracefield, and they were trying to get me to describe what kind of an artist it was. Was I a painter or was I a photographer or um, was I a felt maker? And I said, well, the only, the closest that I could get to was to say that I was a visual artist and that's it. Yeah. And I just like to do lots of different things and I like to think that everything complements each, you know, mm -hmm. so there's nothing, um, although, you, you know, like, there are a range of styles, when you look at things, they do all sort of come together. There, there is a, there is a style in there. There is something in there that kind mm -hmm. of links them all together. Um, even if it's just a, a, a sense of isolation, loneliness. Sometimes somebody said to me, "You never put anybody in your pictures. There's never anything in your pictures. It's just <laughs> things." And, I, and I, it never really struck me, but they're right. I think when I look at some of the things that I do, they can be quite lonely looking and that's it's, and that's not to say I'm a lonely person or anything like that it's just I can see that I can see what they were saying you know so what else have you what else have we got um, I do a range of jewellery so I've got and again most of the people that are uh, whose work I've got in the gallery they, they are from Scotland or from Dumfries or they're um, based here now um, I know there's uh, a lot of people like myself who have uh, come to live here because 
it's such a wonderful place. Uh, oh. Blue Kitty Creations. Yeah, yeah. We're meeting Claire in a few days' time. Oh, all right. Oh, Claire's stuff is just gorgeous. Lovely. Um, Dorothy Stewart from uh, Lock Mabon. Just these. Oh, that's gorgeous. Glitter. I don't know if that'll come up if you can see the glitter no. that's in there. Oh, yeah, just starting you got to see it. Oh, and that's just beautiful. Lovely. So I've got some of her scarves. Um, I have. Gorgeous. Little piece of Zane Zoo uh, bears, handmade bears from uh, Stranraer. And Aww. I've got a little family of them, there's another one here, which is Candy Floss, and I just adore her. I think she's so sweet. Beautiful. Yeah, just so lovely. Um, I've got jewelry from Jo Calabroso, who used to have a shop on Academy Street, but doesn't uh, anymore. Sorry about that, we had to briefly pause while <laughs> Julie had a supplier. We'll, we'll have a look at um, Joanna's stuff in a minute, but you've got some of hers here, yeah. haven't you? Joanna's one. Well, I think most of this in here is Joanna's. Um, yeah, Joanna's work, she, she does a lot that's influenced by you know, the colours of, of Scotland. And I think you can see that in, in the jewellery that she has, the blues and the, the grey, especially the, the Western Isles. Um, and you can see those in them. So we have some of uh, Beth Curry's. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, fine crochet. It's, always, it's just lovely, lovely, lovely things, and, and the intricacy of, of those are just lovely. It is, it's gorgeous. Um, there's Claire's, the Blue Kitty creations as well, um, some of her rune rings, and some of her Viking knitwork oh, as well, which is just gorgeous. She just bought me some. Um, ear cuffs as well, uh, and there's some more rings of those in the in the bottom too. So it's uh, a varied collection of things. Some glasswork by Debbie Lord. Debbie Lord, yeah, there you go. Debbie's from Dumfries originally, but she lives down in Penzance now. But a lot of the things that she does, people can see Scotland in in them. You know, okay. sort of the the little. Beachside houses and whatever they can uh, they can see that so it, it still works it works really really well. So this this is what Joanna just brought in. Yeah, so a new collection of things for me to play with. Um, she's designed the silver jewellery especially uh, for here, which is gorgeous. They are honestly, and I was saying before off camera that um, when she brought in. The design she brought me in a sheet of silver that she was drawing these things out on, and to see them completely done and and beveled and, and polished, they're just it's amazing that they were the same things that were on this uh, sheet of silver. Got some pearls, We've yeah. Got two lots of pearls here, haven't they? That's right. Bracelet with a heart on it. Dyed pearls. Just gorgeous. Freshwater. Freshwater pearls, yes. And these were the other ones. So this is Joanna Repton. That's right, yeah. from Dunska. From Dunska. We'll have to post up um, if you go on links to, yeah, to, to that's her work. Right. Yes, definitely. So um, what else have we got on the walls here? Uh, most of the work that I've got on the walls is, is mine, um, which is beautiful. Thank you. And it, it's a combination. Look He's <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Beautiful colours, and you can, there's a range of different materials as well that I'm using, sort of from paints, mostly acrylics, um, but also felted work as well. I started using walls in my work um, a couple of years ago. The light's not quite doing these no, they cool like pictures. Unfortunately, it doesn't just this, but we can see a range. Uh, Gorgeous wood turnings. That's the work of Brian Conchie, who's a Dumfries man. Got some. The, these were a little bit different. You said these are the last two in a yeah, series. Yeah, it's a, a larger series, and I've only got two of them left now. Um, and I haven't done any for a wee while either. Uh, it was, they're all um, Dumfries and Galloway castles or abbeys. I've done that's uh, Hodden Castle. 
And although if you go to Hodden Castle, people say, oh, it doesn't look anything like that. The building itself does look like that. But what I've done is taken the building away from its surroundings and I've put it into somewhere that's a little bit more fantasy-like. So but that, that was one. I've done Calaver Rock and Sweetheart Abbey and uh, Tothar Rock and yeah. you know, a collection of them. So it's just something a little bit different. But I really enjoyed doing that. It was just it really surprised me at the time because I was doing a lot of, if you pan around, I was doing a lot of these which were very vague pictures with just colours, just sort of um, large sweeps, swathes of colour. And to go from that to putting in something that's quite detailed like that, it was quite a surprise that I was going to, that I enjoyed it as much as I did, but I did really enjoy it and it spurred me on to, to do a lot more. So, if you're in the area, you're on Irish Street. That's right. Yeah. Um, normal office hours, is it? Nine till... No, I do ten till five. Ten till five. Ten till five on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then ten till four on the Saturday. Um, but I'm usually around anyway. If anybody needs or wants, um, they can contact me through the website or through Facebook. Um, and uh, I can do what I can do, <laughs> help as much as I can. <laughs> but the good thing is you've always got something a little bit different in here, yeah. so I try and change things thing. quite regularly and, and I think um, so far as other people's work's concerned as well, it's nice to uh, just show people just how good the Frisson Galloway is, you know, and the, the amount of really talented people that we've got in here. You also do workshops as well. Don't I do you? do workshops, yeah. It's something that I've just started building up. Um, I've recently gone from being a part-time teacher to being a full-time gallery owner. Um, that happened in October, uh, October the sabbatical year. Um, just to run the gallery and see how I get on and build up the workshop side of it. So we've just started putting together a calendar of workshops. It's got a bit of a problem in the middle because I'm waiting on going into hospital um, so I can't be absolutely certain that I can do some workshops so I've had to put a wee proviso on them but yeah we, we build it up and they're, they're really popular too so I've got workshops that are oversubscribed now which um, is which brilliant is, yeah I mean, you, you said one to me was um, what was it art for relaxation or? yeah um, I do some drop ins um, people can literally just come in with, oh, it's a Tuesday afternoon, um, with the, the paints, the picture, um, I'll provide, um, you know, sort of water if they need that, and cups of tea, endless cups of tea, and coffee, and biscuits, and things. <laughs> <That's just weird. laughs> and they just come and sit down and, and just, people like the atmosphere that I've got in here. Yeah, because it's sometimes difficult at home to get that peace yeah. and that space. That's right. To be able to do that, so and the, the people like to come in and just have a sit down. So we do that, and I also do on a Thursday um, a yarn and yatta as well, which is uh, it's a posh um, stitch and bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have uh, um, I've got quite a few now that come in, and every week they'll come, and again they bring the crochet or their knitting or anything that's yarn based. Um, and endless cups of tea and coffee, biscuits, and chatter, and it's really nice, you know, oh, just it for us all to get together. We'll have to, obviously with your provisos, because you've got that hospital stay yeah. coming up, but we'll have to stick up on the website all, all your classes, mm -hmm. because I'm sure there'll be a few of us really keen to give at least one of them a go. Yeah. yeah um, okay, the next one, we're going to close this one, and the next one we're going to talk about um, some of your successes. And maybe some of your failures. Yeah.